Hi everyone. So welcome to today's class. So today we will be discussing on some of the interview question that are related to your pricing procedure. So gradually, gradually we will be understanding some of the questions. So day by day we will be creating some of the questions or we will be mentioning some of the question based on the interview process of different different companies, right? So just give me you a disclaimer so most of the question that is here in the pricing procedure that came in the interview of kpmg interview okay so when i attended the kpmg interview mostly they are asking in the pricing procedure side they have asked me a lot of question on the pricing procedure so for that reason i'm just mentioning all of the question that will be related to your pricing procedure what kind of questions will be coming for the pricing procedure and we will be discussing all of the aspect let's say basic question intermediate question some of the scenario based questions so scenario based question i kept it simple that can be multiple let's say some critical questions can become based on the like in the scenario based they can ask you a different variety of questions okay so before moving forward so i'm just asking you a suggestion so you know that there is a lot of questions behind uh, behind the videos like shall we continue it in the english shall we continue it in the hindi because when i put some classes in english some people they tend to say that we need the class in hindi and when we have all of the playlist in the hindi so most of the people they are asking a question like can we have the same classes in english so it is very difficult to balance it out in here so i have tried a couple of times to distinguish between the playlist but here there is a thought that i am planning to start a channel from the starting like all of the contents that you are getting it here in the hindi content let's say everything you will be getting it in a english channel so just let me know your thought process okay so if you find it interesting that we can get every content in english in a single channel or shall we create a single playlist over this channel and we put it as a same but the problem is when we upload the class in english some people they will say it like we need it in hindi okay so that's my one of my third so just let me know in the comments okay that uh, if we need to create a different channel all together for english so where we can put all of the classes all of those concept in english itself okay so that we can continue here in hindi and in that other channel we will be continuing with the english language okay do let me know your thoughts either in the comments or in the like section let's say if there will be 100 plus likes will be there so we will be creating one more different channel for the english people who are comfortable in english we will start a channel for them okay so that was a question to all of you i hope everyone will try to at least give their point of view so to uske liye mujhe pata chalega ki aap logo ka kya view hai ki hindi channel hum is pe bana ke rakhe ya hum isko mix up karke rakhe hindi and english kyunki kabhi main agar मुझे मन करेगा मैं हिंदी में कर लेता हूँ कभी मुझे कंटेंट बनाने का मन करता है इंग्लिश में क्योंकि काफ़ी सारे कमेंट्स आते हैं कि इंग्लिश पे बनाइए तो मैं इंग्लिश में बना देता हूँ तो ये मिक्सअप बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाता है तो उसका थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम है तो इसके लिए मैं आपको सजेशन मांग रहा हूँ क्या हम इस चैनल को एज ए हिंदी चैनल बना के दूसरा एक हम इसके साथ ही एक चैनल बनाए जहाँ पर सारे हम अपने इंग्लिश वाले कॉन्टेंट जो है वो अपलोड करें तो ये आपके लिए क्वेश्चन है तो अगर मुझे 100 लाइक्स आते हैं कि ठीक है हमको एक दूसरा चैनल बनाना है जहां पे हमको सारे इंग्लिश वाले कंटेंट चाहिए तो मैं बनाऊंगा उसके ऊपर फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच ओके डोंट वरी दैट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल कीप द इंग्लिश प्लेलिस्ट नो नॉट नॉट लाइक दैट वन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इट सेल्फ वी विल बी मेकिंग अ न्यू चैनल देयर वी विल बी पुटिंग ऑल ऑफ द इंग्लिश कॉन्टेंट दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके ओके सो दैट्स इट अबाउट द डिस्क्लेमर 
or we can say suggestion so now what kind of questions that you might get regarding the pricing procedure so when it comes to let's say implementation process there will be a lot of question will come for your pricing procedure and not only about the implementation process but there will be in the um, implementation and in the support project pricing procedure will play a major role because pricing is a very much uh, let's say it is an important chapter or we can say important concept if we say about the business process so pricing will have a definitely a good place right so for that one let's say we need to understand what is the pricing procedure so here i'm not going to explain you about the pricing procedure if you want to see what is the pricing procedure if you want to see what is the pricing uh, procedure concept are there how the pricing procedure is created so for that one there is a video in the playlist okay you can just search in our channel pricing procedure concept you will be finding it okay there will be i believe couple of videos will be there where you can find the pricing procedure related all of the things okay and in the next week also or in the coming classes also i'm planning for one more like uh, pricing procedure because in the last pricing procedure what we have seen we have not explained it in a lot deeper basis we have just taken three four condition type and we have seen a pricing procedure but in the coming classes i'm planning for one either one webinar i'm planning okay there we will be having a live class where whoever wants to uh, understand about the pricing procedure they can come and join they can learn from pretty basic to advance of pricing procedure what kind of things are there what needs to be uh, considered while you are creating a pricing procedure so that we are planning okay maybe by next weekend we will plan so for something there we will be having a webinar on that okay so now let's come to the questions so first thing what you can get in in the pricing procedure what is a pricing procedure everyone will ask this is a simple question what is a pricing procedure okay so what is a pricing procedure basically this is a process or concept while we are creating a purchase order price will be automatically picked up that is basically called a pricing procedure right so now how the pricing procedure will trigger in the purchase order this is a secondary question okay so there might be a different different answer to for everyone can give different different answer based on the condition type condition technique everything there is a simple answer to it okay whenever you create a purchase order there will be a supplier will be there or vendor will be there there will be a purchasing organization will be there in the purchasing organization there will be a purchasing organization schema will be there and there is a in the vendor master there is a vendor schema will be there based on these two schema group whatever pricing procedure will be there based on that whatever price will be there it will be picked up to the purchase order this is a simple thing okay you need to answer it likewise you don't answer like condition type access sequence these that all things don't confuse the interviewer on that one so you have to just tell this thing how the purchase order will trigger okay now next step next question you might get asked is explain what are the steps are involved determining the pricing procedure so you here you can actually explain that condition type access sequence condition record condition table these all of the things you can explain it okay so now what is the significance of condition type in the pricing procedure okay so what is a condition type what are the relevance of it so you can just explain that okay how are the condition table and access sequence used in pricing procedure so you need to explain what is a table how in the table how you are putting the condition and how the access sequence is assigned to the condition table so that whenever there is a condition type is there when the access sequence is assigned to that one it will search for the tables and it will search for the what kind of records are there so based on that it will pick up the price so you can explain that one okay what is the difference between manual and automatic condition pricing in the condition in the pricing procedure so i believe all of you know what is a manual and what is a automatic condition type okay so basically manual we can say there might be different different concept to it one concept i can tell you if the condition type is assigned to a access sequence that is basically called a automatic condition type 
so if it is a automatic condition type it will search for the condition table and all if it is a manual condition type then there will be no access sequence will be there manually you have to put the price details in the purchase order let's say there is a pbxx and pb00 is there okay let's say you are taking pbxx as a manual so in that case what will happen so if you are taking the condition type as pbxx then you have to enter the price manually in the purchase order right so this is the thing you can mention in the process so there are certain other concepts are there maybe in the webinar we will be discussing what is a manual what is automatic what is the difference we'll see that one okay now next one is explain how condition records are maintained in the sap mm so you can explain like there will be nse t code is there there you can maintain the condition record and there is mn04 i believe mn04 in mn04 also we can maintain the condition record so you can just go through those topics okay so what is the purpose of calculation schema in pricing procedure so what is a calculation schema so you have to just go through the calculation schema so in the calculation schema basically we are putting all the conditions and we are putting all the rules in the pricing procedure in the calculation schema so how the calculation will like how the pricing will be triggered so we are maintaining the certain condition types over there when what is the rules for triggering that one so that is basically a calculation schema so just go through this also okay so these are some of the basic question you can get okay these are some of the direct question or basic question we can say okay now there will be some intermediate question from your question there will be some derived question will be there so you have to also look into this also how you can exclude certain condition type from being determined in a pricing procedure okay so the answer is basically your statistical indicator is the answer so how you are going to explain that is up to you okay what is the role of pricing date in the pricing procedure this also you can look into it and you can just mention it in the comments so while we are having the let's say webinar at that point of time we'll discuss about the pricing date okay there is a pricing date there is a revision date is there so what is that concept will will discuss in the webinar okay explain what is the different type of header condition and item condition in sap mm okay so just try to look into this what is the header condition and what is the item condition try to look into this and be prepared okay if you have any question then you can just join the webinar and you can ask your questions over there okay try to find some answers for this one okay header condition so header condition is basically it will work based on the document so on the total document whatever items will be there it will be act all over the items means it will be distributed all over the items but if we are taking a condition type in item condition then it will be related to your item label only single item single condition you can maintain okay now how do you configure discount or surcharges in a pricing procedure okay how do you configure discount so that you can also answer okay how you can do that one okay based on the net price or based on the gross price how you can maintain the discount either you can tell what are the let's say condition types are there or in which step you can assign this one so you can just mention that okay so now how can you handle tax calculation within the pricing procedure so this is also an important concept try to look into the tax calculation inside the pricing procedure where the taxes will come into the picture and how the tax calculation will happen so try to remember those kind of scenario okay now what are the role of condition exclusion group how do they work in the pricing procedure so you can just go to this condition exclusion what is the exclusion indicator or exclusion groups are there just try to understand this try to go through this topic also okay now how can you ensure that pricing procedure is specific to a vendor or purchasing organization how you can maintain this one schema group okay so you can mention the schema group based on the schema group you can assign some assign to some specific vendor or purchasing organization so to the purchasing organization if you are assigning some of the schema group purchasing organization to the vendor if you are assigning some purchasing uh, some uh, vendor schema group then it will be working only for that vendor or only for that purchasing organization okay 
let's say there will be some scenario based question these are some simple scenario based questions are there but you can expect a lot more complex scenarios also it might be asked so first scenario you have the pricing procedure where a condition type for a discount is not being applied as expected what steps you should take for troubleshoot and resolve the issue okay how you how you can approach for the troubleshooting you can just mention that okay you have to explain that one next one new during a goods receipt the system shows price different from the purchase order how would you investigate and resolve the discrepancy in the pricing procedure so that is also a scenario based question okay now you need to implement a pricing procedure that include both quantity based and value based discount how would you configure in the sap mm okay so you just write down your answers okay in the comment section try to write down your answers so that we'll be able to know how much you know or let's say if you have any doubt just comment that we need a webinar for this one to understand the pricing procedure then we will be having a webinar for this one okay now a supplier offers you a seasonal discount that applies during a specific period how that how you can set up this in a pricing procedure okay now the client wants to apply a special discount for the particular material group across all the vendors so how you can configure this one okay last one so a company needs to implement a pricing procedure that automatically adjusts prices based on the currency exchange rate at the time of purchase how would you configure this one okay so these are certain things are there which are related to the pricing procedure you need to understand that one okay so try to find out these answers try to prepare these answers if you don't know then don't worry we will be having will be soon we will be having one webinar for configuration of the pricing procedure and all of the details maybe in the coming classes in the next class i will be letting you know some of the key concept of sap mm okay uh, sap mm pricing procedure concept so that stay on uh, the channel so you will be able to get to know all of the details on the pricing okay so that's it for tomorrow that's it for today so we will meet up again on the next class till then bye bye and take care